Let's take another look at uh, some more editing of curves and uh, I'm going to draw another line for that. In fact, I'm going to switch again to the three views. And uh, so let's say I draw a curve, perhaps that's going to be part of a hook or maybe it's going to be part of that rope with the knot eventually. And I want to redefine parts of it. Maybe I want to also add to it. First of all, I'm going to need to cur select that curve. So right click on it and now you see um, you can go and this is actually using the the tool which is the draw details tool alright so when you have when you have that mode uh, you can add to it you can simply add a little bit to that end you can add also to the upper end or not uh, that sort of depends on how you draw it and uh, whether you miss and also whether you come too close to other parts sometimes uh, it just doesn't know that that's exactly what you're doing uh, there are some cases where you're coming close to parts of the object already and it thinks you want to connect to that. So uh, there are some limits with regard to this. But one of the beautiful parts with it though is that you can definitely do things like this here. Draw another bulging parts in here. And obviously also the opposite. Maybe you drew that initially this way and you really wanted to do it straight so you can draw this straight line going across here. And that's really one of the very powerful features in Curvy. Uh, you can do that in any of these views. You can go up here to the um, uh, perspective view and create a very different curve than uh, what we started from. And of course there may be some wiggly parts and some uh, jagged edges there. So one thing you want to do a lot is uh, hold your finger on the S key and press that a few times to smooth it. Perhaps Shift S if it's not going quite fast enough. Of course if you do this a lot it's going to create a very different shape. Anyway, so that's the uh, <clears throat> the tool to add to it and there's uh, sort of the counterpart to that which is to trim the curve and to delete elements from it. So if for instance you want to make it a little bit shorter, you just go and click a couple of these points uh, and maybe I'm going to click in the middle here and it's going to just make that uh, portion disappear. And so with that you can create a very different curve too.